Welcome to It's Possible, a program that is there for you to energize you, to motivate you, to electrify you, to train you and move you to a place. And now, let's look at developing teamwork. Developing teamwork. Teamwork is very important in whatever you do. You are not alone in all the departments, isn't it? You are either two, three or four. Now, teamwork starts also from relationship. You build a relationship in a team. For instance, if she has a family problem, you, are, you work with three of you, and she has a family problem, she can easily come to say, ah, listen, my sister, can you stand in for me and go and solve my problem and I'll come tomorrow? Anyone who understands that, then you will step in whatever she does. That's teamwork. But where there's no teamwork, uh, you say, no, I can't do that. Or you give your friends an attitude, forgetting that you also one day need that time to go and sort certain things. So it's important to work as a team and to understand what your friends are going through. And as you work as a team, you find that things flow very nice. That's how we develop teamwork. Now, a team can comprise of a group of people and animals in the animal kingdom can also have you know, a team. You've seen certain animals move in a group, isn't it? Mm -hmm. they, 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 an example is the lion kingdom. Lions fight in a teamwork. This one will chase, the, this one will attack the leg, this one will jump until they achieve one objective, to kill and eat the meat, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So even as, as human beings, we need to, have to be in a group that can work together to achieve the company's objectives. All teams are groups, but sometimes not all groups can be teams. Okay? All teams are groups, but sometimes not all teams can be groups. Alright? Then, teams are especially appropriate for conducting tasks that are of high complexity and may be interdependent with some tasks. For instance, you can be in a team it doesn't mean that you do the same work, okay? Let's take finance department, for instance. In finance department, you find there will be people who will be in accounts payable, paying out customers. Then in the same finance department, there will be debt collectors in credit department, making sure that whatever has been produced, it's paid for. Then there will be also HR within the, the finance department to make sure that your salaries are worked nicely, your hip days and everything, and you are paid. So, but they are all under one group finance, you understand? The joy of the Lord is your strength. You are still watching It's Possible, a program that comes to you in your living room, in your hotel room, in your office, just to motivate you, for you to realize your dream. Today I have a book entitled The Secret Dream to Your Neighbor's Success. Uh, this is a book that will help you realize your dream. This is a book that will actually reactivate that dream that you've put on the shelves. If you want to become somebody in life, if you want to study in life, if you want to even start up your own business, this is a book that will help you to reactivate that dream. I just want to share something. You know, most of the times, when we have a dream, there are people that discourage us, there are people that say you can't do it, but I can assure you that if you believe in yourself, then all things are possible. A dream is like having a plan for a house. You have that dream in your mind and then you call an architect to actually draw that plan. And then of course, once the architect has drawn that plan, then you call the surveyors to count the cost. And of course, you bring in the bricklayers to, to actually do the construction of that house. That's how a dream is. Intangible dreams become tangible once it is in your mind. So ladies and gentlemen, this is a book for you. Uh, I'll send it to you for a donation of $10 or more. I'll send you this book. Thank you so much for watching and just know that nothing is impossible with God.